Thor and Electric Field is all I care about. Okay. That's fine. The Dual Four, well, I will try to make happen, of course. Uh, but yeah, man, it was just an accident. I don't know. Fucking sue me, man. Go ahead. Try. I got the best lawyers in the world. Dumb Four? Uh, are you talking about yourself, dude? God is ass. God is ass. So got. So got. Unbelievably got. I lost a bunch of health in Act 1, Part 1, and the food is the 100 year thing. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. That's how you know. Though, if it's before the Adventurers, it can actually be pretty helpful. Like, if you get Enemetaz 100 years in the Adventurer fight in Act 1, it can actually be decent. That's like the only use case I have for Enemetaz 100 years. But it works. Clown Poopy. Clown is insanely overpowered, but he literally does exclusively one thing. It just so happens the one thing he does is good. So good that it makes him like an S plus skull. But like he literally is a one trick pony. And he's not like bad otherwise. But like Jack in the Box crit items is his thing. He can still do a few things outside of that, but like that's his that's why he's good. I have 10 hits before I die to adventure. Wait. Oh, oh, okay. So it was. You have 10 HP. <laughs> You're going to get out of the Act 1 adventure if I. Not taking 10 hits. If you take 10 hits in the Act 1 adventure, you can never say I have a skill issue again. Ever. Like, literally never again. You will, you will be forbidden from saying anything like that. And if you do say something like that, you get minus one fucking IQ. <laughs> minus one IQ. Until you're at the negatives, and you're already close. Warrior with speed up? You're still fine. That's- it's Act 1 Adventurer, dog. You literally can't- like, there's no excuse. There is zero excuse. Um... Item Room. I gotta get that Haze Brain gone. The- the break certainly helped for getting rid of the Haze Brain. True, that's why I didn't die. Exactly. I knew you had that dog in you, dude. I was a believer. Now I'm a believer. Okay, this shit sucks. So waiting for Rapidity plus Clown. Rapidity plus Clown is even good. It's bad. Rapidity is only good on close range attackers. If you're talking about Rapidity 4. You can use Clown as a close range attacker, though. Like, it's not impossible. <laughs> Shrek the Third is the best movie ever. I like the Kappa after that. That's a correct usage of Kappa. You don't see that much these days. We gotcha gamed and it failed us. What else is new? You know what's weird, though? People try and say Shrek, the fourth Shrek movie, is good. That shit sucks. The fourth Shrek movie is bad. I tried giving it a chance. Like, I was like, people are saying this is good. I guess I'll just watch it and see. It's horrible. Puss in Boots 2 is the best Shrek movie. I've not seen it yet. I just like that everyone was like, like, pogging because he has a panic attack. I was like, dude, Puss in Boots has a panic attack. Dude, it's sick. He has a fucking panic attack. No way. That's funny. It's like, I feel seen. I feel seen! Puss in Boots had a panic attack! <laughs> huh? Yeah, that- <laughs> People were like that. I'm not trying to be mean, by the way. I'm not trying to hurt anyone's feelings. If you like that Puss in Boots had a panic attack, by all means. <laughs> by all means. Live and learn! Rock out like Crush 40. Unlike the scene because of the context of the panic attack. I don't know. I, I, I'd, I'd have to see it. But people were like happy that he had it. You know, like they were like, it wasn't because of the context. Living on the edge. Me too, brother. 
Also, the adventures where Asylum only dropped one potion. Classic, classic. No. Yes. Watch it right now with us. Yeah, let's let's fucking get DMCA. <laughs> DMCA any percent speed run. I wouldn't even win it because plenty of of Twitch streamers have watched DMCA content before me and paved the road. <laughs> Pave the path, so like, we can't get the world record, but maybe we'll be in the top 10. DMC D's nuts, true dude, true. Let me watch fucking Spongebob on stream, now. Stupid fucking laws, I should be allowed to watch Spongebob on Twitch. Uh, okay. Why not? He saw it in theaters multiple times. What are you talking about? And Sly, I have a buddy that was obsessed with Puss in Boots too. I mean, I don't know, man. It seems like a good movie. Like, genuinely, the art style is extremely good. I'm a big fan of animated movies. I think, or just animation in general. So, like, I would have no shame in saying I love Puss in Boots. Uh, too. <laughs> but, um... I just haven't seen it yet. Like I, I, I don't I don't care if something is made for children. It can still be good. Like fucking uh Spider-Verse. I haven't even seen the second Spider-Verse movie. I need to. But those movies are fucking nutty. I hear the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie is really fucking good. Like I have no shame. Hexa just loves Puss in Boots in general. I don't even I've never seen it. <laughs> That's the point. And a prisoner of this friend going slap. Good fucking luck, dog. We're getting all the magic damage on this. Like, actually, is that one? Yeah, I'll get rid of this. Like, this run's already a really good magic focused run. There's blood? <gasps> I'm. I can't take my kids to see that. There's blood in that. I'm calling. I don't know. Uh, who who do who do Karen moms call when something like that happens? Like one drop, <gasps> that's one drop too many, dude. My kid's gonna get bad ideas if he sees a drop of blood. HR, HR of DreamWorks. Uh, DreamWorks HR, you put blood in Puss in Boots and now my child, like, wants to be a vampire or something i don't even know all i know is i need to be seen and heard because i have righteous anger you guys dared to even think about putting something like that in your fucking movie about a talking cat that wears boots boots his name is literally puss in boots i went in there expecting a fun whimsical adventure and all i saw a drop of blood where's the blood god and wants to sacrifice me the one drop of blood it put him over Do I do double omen prisoner? It depends. Where are the omens? Maybe. If the omens are worth it. You know what, bitch? Enjoy the loss. And then they go, ain't the youth lost. Two decides? Wait, it duped it? Yeah. I'd say go ahead and enjoy that. Wait, d does the, the decide de amplification amplify the other decides amplification? That's interesting. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's Burb. I said that shit. What, what are your omens? Courage and dual omen? Oh. <laughs> Fucking Burb. Shut up, Burb. You've changed, Burb. I remember when you were like a hinge chatter. You were like normal. And now you're just another streaming guy. The fucking mantra remains true. Everyone becomes streaming guy if they spend enough time in this fucking community. It's just, it's facts. It's facts at this point. And you guys prove it right every day. You won't? Ah, uh, Vanshee Scrub, I love that fucking, uh, I love the attitude. It's gonna happen. It will happen. Rib and Quinda is silly. Yes, it is. It is. It's really good. Also, you know what else is really good? A metal box. I guess we're officially on a mixed damage run. Yeah, I'm not getting the invisible enough. I'm getting the, uh, getting the, because keep in mind, we're trying to build towards dual. 
That's like the goal here. And also I need to get a uh, electric field in the next uh, area. Sadly, we can't upgrade this. Being demoted to streaming guy is depressing. You're not a streaming guy, Hisoka. I'll give you that. You've you've kept your humanity. Somehow. I don't even know how. You've somehow seen through the fucking brain worms and kept your coherency. Yippee! How about you? You're literally you were streaming guy almost immediately. And yeah, I made you a moderator. I don't even know. <laughs> Maybe I, I'm also a streaming guy. I think we already came to this conclusion. Oh, God. Sly guy. Sl streaming guy, sly guy. Everyone just gets the guy last name. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay, I see. I see the trickery. Uh, I don't want those. Thanks for the money, though. Uh, duel, please. You should all change your names to streaming guy? Yeah, let me just ruin my brand real quick. Any kind of, like, notoriety I've built up, gone instantly. Because now I'm streaming guy 3 or something like that. That's smart. There's duel. Give me all the duel in the world, please. Masterpiece box pass. Misfortune strike. Well, that's a little unfortunate, but we did get one duel item, so I guess it's fine. This would have been a bomb crit run. True. This is why we don't force builds, guys, but it is the run request. Though he said he only cares about... uh. Electric field. I'm still going to do my best to get the duel. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. But at least you can tell I'm putting forth an effort to make it happen. That's all I care about. Okay, hit clown platform cheese is so age. Apparently, so is Thor. But we'll make it work this time. Yeah, there we go. Why did I do that? I don't know. I just wanted to, I guess. You skipped a duel, don't lie. What duel? What duel? What do you mean? The one where you swapped the balance? Oh, no, no. Wait, that's strike. That's strike. Is it duel also? I don't even know. That fucking item blows ass. It's duel? Well, I did us a favor by skipping that. That shit blows, man. It ain't bad? Yeah, it is. We only have one balance skull. It deals like no damage. It's dog. It's fine. It, it's only enters even slightly okay territory if you have two balance skulls. That's it. You have a speed skull. This is going to be a little annoying to deal with. I actually don't even really know how we deal with her. But I need to focus. This is actually getting kind of nasty. I think the way I kill her is... Yeah, when she does this, I do this. Yeah, okay. This worked. But she's... Just, whenever you don't have good in-air attackers... And all your damage comes from the ground... Like, she's annoying. Just jump attack clown. She ain't that hard. She's harder when you have, like, specifically the build we have. 25% magic damage and 10% crit damage. 25% magic damage is not good. Its inscriptions are weird. I don't know. You know what? Maybe... I, you know what? Fuck it. If I see it again, I'll take it. Just so you guys stop nagging me. Naggers, man. Y'all are fucking crazy. But I'm telling you, it ain't good. Also, we got, like, the worst clown ability, which is not good either, but...
And in fact, I can just swap off of this clown skill here. Let's get rid of it. Please go away. <laughs> True burb. Wait, you're doing it too. Wait, stop trying to... Stop with your fucking doing burb shit, bro. At least it's not Stigma Leg. Stigma Leg is better than uh, than that item. Stigma Balls is cool. Yeah, Stigma Balls is a good item. It has Misfortune, even though it's probably not better than Manatech Staff. Whoa. Uh, let's take this gold percent gain. This is gonna be good. Uh, here's duel. This is good duel. It's like fine duel, I guess. It's not incredible, but it's like it's it's better than nothing. Uh, this can go. <clears throat> My inscriptions are already good enough. I don't think we need ritual staff, and it doesn't benefit me a ton. Still no duel. Solar Sword. Can I even afford Solar Sword on a run like this? Mm. What would go? You don't have Wisdom right now? Yeah, I do. Boink, boink. Uh, if I lose this, I lose Courage, which isn't great. It could always go on my pedestal. I should be able to buy the pedestal and also buy courage or buy food. Yeah, yeah, okay, we're good. But the purple flirt, mmm. I guess we have to skip it. Your game crashed, console or PC? You're 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 a console player, right? Pass. PC? Oh, okay. You probably should be on console at that point. Neither PC nor console? Mobile. I'm- I'm emulating Skull on my phone. For who the fuck knows why. I don't even want, I don't even have a Steam Deck. I'm just emulating Skull. Why? I don't know. I just am. Alright. Question for Autor. Gambler? Question mark? If so, who goes? This is exclusively a question for Autor. Clown? Gamba! But did you make it in time? Or did I did I do a Believers vs. Doubters here? Also, what's up, uh, Bacchanino? Did I forget to do Believers vs. Doubters? I think I did. Also, I don't think that's what Bach was talking about, but it made me think about it. Uh, will Haxa win the run? It's a little fucked up to do it this late, but fuck it. We ball. Alright, good luck. Thought the same too. <clears throat> told you to i i missed it <laughs> whoops Pete, the same the usual suspects are just gonna choose like fucking streaming guys gonna doubt no matter what like it is what it is like the people who doubt are gonna doubt and the people who believe are gonna believe oh wait we have the gun skill i'm gonna have to swap away from that
But we gotta be careful not to kill uh, the long hair sister now. Wait, that's not a good thing to do if I'm being careful. <laughs> Okay. Beautiful! You'll love to see it. Kinda. God damn it, gamblers. Don't low roll when it is, like, extremely bad for you to do it. Please. For the love of God. Okay, fine. That, that'll do just fine. It duped Courage Omen? Lose you- If you can, let yourself die first. Like, if you're, like, in a pit or something in Act 4, jump into the pit so you lose your, uh, reassembly. Because that's, like, 360 damage percent. But you also... Actually, that might be too dangerous. Genuinely might be too dangerous. Kung Fu Panda 4 was mid, as expected. Man, DreamWorks kind of sucks now, huh? Like, they fell off hard. Kung Fu Panda 3 also wasn't that great. Kung Fu Panda 4 was... I mean, Kung Fu Panda 2 was the best one, and Kung Fu Panda 1 was very good, but... DreamWorks just kind of sucks now. It is what it is. They couldn't have stayed on top forever. Uh, I could get rid of the gold percent gain. Let's go Cryptic Collectible. Can't wait to activate it now. At least there are no Pixar. I would say Pixar's in a better shape than them uh, than they are right now. Disney with Wish? I mean, come on. <laughs> oh, man. Just let's leave it to Sony to keep making good movies. Good animated movies. And, I mean, DreamWorks did make Puss in Boots too, so... You know... It's not all bad, but it's pretty fucking ab abysmal. Thank God they're making Moana too. That's, uh, everyone wanted that one. That's, uh, we were all begging for Moana too, man. <clears throat> I love The Rock. I don't. <laughs> Though he did a good job as, uh, as Maui. That's his name, right? In Moana. I think that's his name. I locked him on that roll. <clears throat> I don't want him. I didn't want to see him do it again, though. <laughs> I didn't want to see him do it again, even if I locked it the first time. Sometimes you just let, let. It hasn't even been that long, is the thing. It hasn't even been that long. Why are we getting Moana two? Like, come on. Like, stop. Stop with the fucking sequels. Make something new. That's not Wish. Can you smell what he's cooking? Yeah, shit. He's cooking straight ass. It's like, damn, The Rock. You didn't tell us you were cooking straight ass. You didn't tell us you were cooking swamp ass. It's the last successful Disney film? True. <laughs> true. It's so true, man. Oh god, he's launching missiles. Man, but this is a little scary. Is this the shop? Yes, it is. Okay, good. When they do make something new, it ain't good. They lack creativity and writer probably ain't paid good. Yeah, honestly, that's it's probably a lot of it. And also, like, Disney that never takes risks. Like, they always play the same formula over and over. Oh my god, this run is insane with the magic. But uh, they always play the same, like, role over and over. They don't like taking risks. Uh, when they rem I, So I'm not a Star Wars guy. I don't care for it. But from what I've heard about the new trilogy they made, it was basically the same story as, like, the original movies, but, like, with different characters. And it's not just Disney, man. Yeah, it's not just Disney. No studio wants to take risks. None. Like, we just keep getting live-action reboots of everything. Even if it's good, like the One Piece live-action reboot. Like, it's still a fucking reboot of something that didn't need to be made. Like, why did they make that? Stop with the live-action reboots, for the love of God. Like, 
Who's asking for this? Who? And if you, if you're asking for this, stop. Just stop. Two balance skulls, no staff. Uh, I don't see how it fit. Um, I already I have three arms, which I don't like. I'm, uh, for the record, I'm trying to build dual. That's like the run request is dual four. So I'm trying to make that work, and I just don't see how I can fit that on a build like this. I'm just pretty strictly looking for uh, for dual here, like this. And now we can get rid of one of these arms items. Get rid of the fucking solar sword. We don't need that kind of damage on this run. The new avatar has no filler, as I've guessed, and it hurts it so bad. Uh, I heard decent things about it, but like, like, why would I ever watch that over the fucking original? That's my question. Like, I have no reason to watch that, because if I ever want to watch Avatar The Last Airbender, guess what? I got Avatar The Last Airbender, and it's really fucking good. So, I don't know, what's the fucking point? I don't understand it. Even people who like the, the live-action remakes, like... Just watch the fucking original, man. It's right there. The stigma around animation is crazy. It's actually crazy. Like, people would rather watch a stilted, worse version of something that already exists just because it's human actors instead of cartoons. Like, why? Why? Just watch the, watch the anime. Watch the fucking original fucking thing, man. They fucking butchered Sokka. The rumors that I heard were pretty fucking bad about uh, what they were going to do with Sokka. You don't like Avatar? We know, we know. Bad take. Zuko was really well done. Who has the balls to make second Avatar adaptation? True. After what happened the first time, like, let it die. Just let it die. We don't need that again. We already got tortured once. Though there's no way it could ever be as bad as the original live-action Avatar. Like, nothing could ever be that bad. But they took it away. Earthbending was slow. Yeah, it, are you talking about in the Shyamalan one? Like, that shit was plum goofy. Like, I don't even know how they thought that looked okay in the Shyamalan one. Yeah, it's so bad. We know, Sly, but let us have fun and talk about something we like. We like Avatar, because we have good taste. God, we are so strong. I'm not talking to you, Hacks. Oh, so sorry, dude. Oh, my God. He's so mad. He's so mad. He's going to beat me up. Sokka is a better Usopp than Usopp. I said it. What, in the live action? Are you saying, like, in general, you think Sokka is better than Usopp? Those are fighting words, even though I like both of them a lot. There should be a, a death battle between those two. No, in general. Fighting words, man. Don't make me choose. <laughs> I love them both. I love them both so much. Sokka is a lot more of a, of a person than Usopp, though. I'll say that much. Like, the, the characters in One Piece are very cartoonish, whereas Sokka is like a, a, a character. Like, he's a person, you know? You could, you could see a Sokka in real life. You're never going to see a Usopp. Bro, was he shut down? Yeah, I saw that shit. It's pretty uh, interesting. I always found Sokka boring and his jokes weren't really funny. He was decent in the end. Wow. <laughs> okay, those are fighting words. <laughs> I don't know if you can get away with saying that. What happened to Death Battle? I don't know. I don't watch that shit, but uh, 
Uh, I imagine it'll get funded in one way or another because people actually like it. Like, it, it's gonna probably work out for that show, I would imagine. The amount sent in the anime discussion chat fully explains my problem with Usopp. Oh, the him ver Luffy, like Usopp normally, but uh, Usopp versus Luffy? I don't know. I, I thought you were joking. I didn't think you were trying to make a serious critique of, uh, of Usopp. I think... Uh, why is that a critique? Like, he had, like... Every reason in the like he was basically fighting for a friend in that scene. He was fighting for the life of a friend. Like he had every reason to be serious there. Whereas like normally, like he just like I don't know, he doesn't have the motivation. I think the fight with uh the girl from Thriller Bark explains all of it. Like he's he's depressed and he doesn't like himself. He just doesn't believe in himself. You know, that's what it is. Even though he actually is very talented. Also, we got the dual omen on the dual run. Actually, that's pretty cool. We'll ditch the... Yeah, that's... A... Damn, dude. We got that dog in us, apparently. Yeah, he's depressed. He doesn't care about himself as much as he cares about his friends. It's It all makes sense. I don't know why you're critiquing here. And also, I mean, he won the fight in Thriller Bark. When he, when he, when he tries, he's really powerful. Which, no offense, Sokka n is not powerful at all. Like, if we're talking who would win in a fight, definitely you, Sok. They often soft reset his experience and skills. That's to be expected. I haven't really noticed it yet, but like, in a show that runs as long as, uh, as One Piece, it's kind of hard to, like, continuously develop the characters permanently forever, you know? Because it's a really long series. Like, Usopp wouldn't even be himself at this point anymore if he literally always permanently retained everything he ever did, you know? Eventually, he would not feel like Usopp. Oh, no! Wait, what?! I just fucking lo I What?! Okay, now we have to take last resistance. I mean, to One Piece credit, his problem is most prominent in Usopp. Oh, okay. Sure. Everything's fine. Smile. We're big chillin', guys. Big chillin'. <laughs> Huge chillin'. Uh, I think I'm gonna buy... I think I have Courage on the pedestal, right? Yeah, I do. So I'm gonna get rid of this. And, uh... I'm gonna take Courage... Or take Duel on the pedestal. We have very high quality dual items. We're gonna be fine, I think. I just have to focus. You opened your mouth for that purple sl slop. I yeah, I fucking stood under that like it was my fucking job. So I, I guess I don't know why I should be shocked at all. Get Chimera. Hey, I'm always giving Chimera proper due respect. She can fucking destroy you. <clears throat> Bro got grimaced. Yeah, I stood under the purple rain. Why is it 100,000 versus 4.9k? What? It's fucking Hisoka. It's always Hisoka. I am pretty hungry, so. I saw that shit as food, and I was like, Mmm, yummy! Turns out it didn't taste very good. I have to be careful. You know what that was, guys? It was not a mistake at all. I was literally seeing it. Hang on. I gotta drink water. Okay. The bit continues. I was seeing into the future. I knew an olive tree cudgel was gonna appear there, and I just wanted to min-max. It was a min-max for the for the perspective olive tree cudgel. I never make mistakes in my gameplay. Bro is parched. It's just my voice is uh exhausted from talking so much. Bro, why am I the only doubter that actually uses points? Because doubters are cowards, and they're also eternally poor. It is what it is. They never have money because I never lose, ever. Never lost one time.
except you. Yeah, but you're you're up to something. Like you're doing some weird shit. <laughs> I don't even know what you're doing, but like I was suspicious. I thought maybe you were off staying in my offline chat or something and earning points like that. But I looked in my tab list and I didn't see you there. So I was now now I don't know what you're doing, but you're doing something. Hey, be fucking nice. No, wait, you're not a doubter. What are you talking about? Don't stand up for the doubters. They deserve what they get, dude. No! No! <clears throat> Give me the fucking chest. You can't even earn points in offline check. I'm glad. I like that you know that. That means you checked. You fucking checked. You tried. I'm a mod, I have to be equal baldy. I'm the streamer, and I make the rules, and I say doubters get the boot. Doubters get the fist to the face. Doubters get no respect. Manipulating the market? Exactly. He's Elon Musk. Uh, do I want this? Can I fit this? Probably not. I do have courage three? Courage... Courage. Oh, yeah, it's on the pedestal. Okay. Uh, sadly not. Good talk. Dual four. There we go, baby. That looks good. That's what I'm talking about. Balrog doesn't get to come on this run. I don't care what Sly says. If any of y'all get banned, I'll save you. I fight for doubter rights. They don't deserve it. The, the only right the doubters have is to always be poor. And that's a universal right. To all doubters. Endowed by the constitution of my stream. Doubters have no right in this society, except the one. Not me, I'm close to a second scam. Yeah, but you're cheating. You won't tell us how. But we know it and you know it. And that's all that matters to me. Like, you know you're cheating. I know you're cheating. I don't know how you're cheating. But I know it's happening. And that's literally all I care about. One day the strict regime will fall and see justice. For who? Doubters? That's how I feel right now, Jassy. You're cheating as you don't bet all your points. But yeah, but you still bet every single time. And you fucking somehow are like so far ahead of everyone else that it doesn't even make any sense. The only thing I can think of is you're in here every day. Which isn't cheating. But so is fucking Lucas. Lucas in here every day. He's is even close to you, so. Same with Autor. Like Autor's in here more than anyone else. <laughs> period. So you're you're doing something fucky. But he still loses, though, right? Like, he, he always doubts and he loses. So he should be losing points. Also, he did the middle after the, the big ult. That's kind of weird. I think you underestimate how much streaming guy is in these streams and bets. I still... It, it makes no sense. Yeah, see? Exactly. That's Lucas. Lucas is in here way more. It makes no sense. There's no explanation. I'm always net neutral. I live, never lose. Erm, I'm in here a lot and it took me forever. I, I, someone... I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense. He's cheating. He has to be, man. He has to be. He fucking has to be. He won't tell us how and he's not going to be honest about it, but he's doing something. He's doing something and I will not, I will not accept any other answer. Streaming guy is fucking doing some wacky shit. I'll probably never find out what it is because I don't care enough, but he's he's up to something. To undermine the achievements of a doubter. A doubter's achievements are fake achievements. Where's your name on the scam list, Piplip? How many points do you got right now? Probably zero.
Hacks it is Chuck McGill. Hey, Chuck McGill was right about Jimmy, so... Haters will say I'm, it's not true, but everything Chuck said about Jimmy was true. I don't even... You know, Chuck was a piece of shit, but he's still right about Jimmy. It's like as big of a piece of shit Chuck was, Jimmy's twice the piece of shit. Doubters would, of course, side with uh, Jimmy McGill. Chuck made Saul Goodman. No, wrong, wrong, wrong. I hate that take so much. I despise that take. He was always Saul Goodman. Chuck did not make Saul Goodman. They were he they were doing it as kids. People like literally like have like selective memory when it comes to Better Call Saul. Wrong. Bad take. I can't stand that take. It's so annoying. You guys are just saying it at this point because you know it annoys me. But like people unironically say that. And it's so stupid. It's such a brain dead take about Better Call Saul. You should watch Better Call Saul. It's a very good show. Watch Breaking Bad first, though. He was denied from HHM. That doesn't matter. He was he was Saul Goodman before that. <laughs> you guys suck. Shut up, dude. <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> and I'm back. Welcome back, man. Fucking chat, bro. Always going against the poor Whittle streamer. That's not true. Fucking Jimmy had a good uh, lawyer job and he still f he, he squandered it on purpose by doing Saul Goodman things. It's not true. It's so not true. He was always Saul Goodman. That's the whole point of the show. People have no, like, people don't have good media comprehension at all. And by people, I mean you. I'm calling you out directly. You have a bad comprehension of Better Call Saul. It's, it's not even hard to perceive. It's it's obvious. It's obvious he was always Saul Goodman. That's the whole point of the show. I don't know, man. I people watch a different show. People who watch Breaking Bad and end up thinking Walt did nothing wrong. It's like, you didn't watch Breaking Bad. You, you watched a wish fulfillment fantasy because you're like a weird person. <laughs> and people who watch Better Call Saul and walk away thinking that Saul Goodman wasn't always Jimmy McGill. Like, you just weren't watching the show. You weren't watching or paying attention. It's not subjective, even a little. Not even slightly. Not in this regard. I'm sorry, but Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad bad takes drive me crazy. I will not sit oddly by. Uh, I guess I'm just not taking this. We don't need it. Spray the ending then, bro? Uh, he goes to jail? <laughs> How come he redeemed himself? He didn't. Sigma edits? Yeah, Sigma edits are fucking awesome. They're literally, every character in Barracol Saw gets a horrible ending. Like, every one of them. Kim Wexler is, like, lonely forever, and has she's, like has like a terrible boyfriend that doesn't treat her right. She's unfulfilled. Jimmy McGill in prison, literally just like destitute, can't be with the woman he loves. And he's stuck like that forever. And they, they you know, they got Howard Hamlin killed because they are pieces of shit. Like, and they deserve, every character who got the ending in that deserves what they got. Talked himself out of like a seven year prison sentence. That's not redemption. That's Saul Goodman shit. He's still being Saul Goodman till the very end. You just lack Saul as a character. That's why you think he got redeemed. But like Saul Goodman is a bad person. No character in that series gets any good ending. They all get the endings they deserve because they are bad people. Yep, I'm right. Can I choose the dark ability? What do you mean? We're filled. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no. Well, maybe. I don't know. What, what's your idea? Because I have one that I already want to take. Have you watched the ending? Okay, what's your fucking interpretation of the ending, then? He chooses to admit to everything? Yeah, I know. He's still not redeemed. That That's not redemption. He still did it all. It's like, in the last second he has of honesty, he chooses to be honest after lying to everyone for years. I don't see it as a redemption even slightly. Yeah, Predicted Pain is my pick as well. Going to prison for 80 years and after that he even calls himself McGill. 
It's I I I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. You can see it as a redemption. I don't think any character in Breaking Bad period ever redeems themselves. Except maybe Jesse. I would say Jesse at least a little bit redeems himself barely. If any character deserved a good ending, it is Jesse. Um, Phantom's probably better than Raven Lord, but maybe we can just take Raven Lord. Jesse was worse than Saul. Uh, I don't. I mean, I think they're all pretty equally bad, but like, Jesse did do fucked up shit. For sure. But like Saul, without uh, Saul, Walt would have not done anything. Like Saul was the backbone of everything. Like Saul really enabled all of it. I know, but like, I mean, th th they're all pretty equally fucking bad. You don't even know what you're talking about. You haven't even seen Breaking Bad or Better Call Saul. JC was as much of a backbone. Uh, I, yeah, I agree with that. After deceiving everyone and causing terrible things, I come here to say sorry, left the room without saying any word. You prevented Walter White's execution several times. I mean, I agree. I'm not saying Jesse's a good person at all. Like, I don't think any character in Breaking Bad is a good person, except maybe Hank. But Hank is also a fucking DEA agent, so... He's, like, I guess, like, lightly racist. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think uh, anyone in the, in the Breaking Bad extended universe is a good person. Maybe Marie, but even then, it's like she is a kleptomaniac. That's like the worst thing she did, though. She's just like a normal person caught in the middle of all this shit. Hank is a racist. You, I don't know how he's like the hero. <laughs> yeah. What about Walt's son? Well, okay, Walter Jr. is just like a... He just exists... Like, Walter Jr. is just a character... Like, he's just a character that exists to be a victim of the the actions of, of Walt. The only unreasonable take I have is that I fucking hate Marie. I have no reason to. Everyone hates Marie. I don't know. I don't think anything of Marie. I just find her to be another character. Kind of like Walter Jr., who just exists to be a victim of all the actions happening. Which, there does need to be characters like that in, in shows like this, so... It, it's fine, but, uh, it's not like she has much going on, you know? It's not like a character you're really meant to, uh, to think much of regardless. Hey, I gotta focus on this fight before I read more. Uh, it'd be nice if I could skip the Giga ult here, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Okay, no, we can. Nice. Marie isn't that bad. I stand by that. If I'm keeping it real, a lot of the reasons people hate Marie is just because people are misogynistic. Like, like it, she's like I said, she's a character that just is there. And also, she's she's one thing you can say positive about Marie. Is that she's very she she does really good by Hank when he's uh when he's hurt. Chuck is Chuck bad in your opinion sucks balls hacks. Chuck is bad, of course Chuck is bad, but so is Jimmy McGill. He's worse, and Chuck was right about Jimmy. That was how this all got started. <clears throat> You're just not message. I think you just dislike Karens. I don't think Marie is that. I she's kind of a Karen, I guess. That's fair. Like when she's like going to all those houses and like doing the weird fake life shit, and then she like freaks out i did not mean to take treasure for to the end but it's fine saying chuck made saul goodman no <laughs> no he was always saul goodman like the thing that showed and also that's also how this started is like if you see the scene where he's like in his dad's 
store his like extremely well-meaning and hard-working father and he's stealing from the cash register like <clears throat> did chuck do that no of course chuck didn't do that chuck was a very loving and, and kind and caring older brother back then like it just it makes like he did not cause and also just like the the good lawyer job that he had at that extremely prestigious firm that he squandered because he couldn't help but doing uh Saul Goodman things. It, all the pieces are there. He did not make Saul Goodman. Anyone who like, do you really think that would be the the point that 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 uh, Vince Gilligan and Peter Gould would want to make about like the character Saul Goodman is like he's a victim of his older brother? Is that compelling media? No, that's just like brain worms. You have brain worms. Like nothing about that's compelling. If you're trying to write an interesting character. I, my brother made me do this. It's not an interesting character. Just think of it like that. If you can't see the obvious signs. Like, it's it's as clear as day. I am Saul Goodman. No! He's in my fucking chat! I don't want to watch some dumbass video essayist be like, yeah, uh, Chuck made Saul Goodman, here's why. Like, I don't care what some dumbass fucking says. They're bad at media fucking comprehension, and you shouldn't be a video essayist. Damn, Haksha. You're the pizza on the roof? No! How are you both Saul and the pizza? I did that way too early. What is wrong with me today? i am got fucking Breaking Bad on the mind. The Breaking Bad Extended Cinematic Universe. It's on my mind. I'm losing it. I have to remember, I don't have reassembly. Okay, time to get serious. I'd sooner listen to, like, your random uncle who thinks Walter White did nothing wrong than a video essayist who's like, Chuck made Saul Goodman. That's how strongly I feel about that. Like, your dumbass uncle who is just, like, just a fucking moron. <laughs> and he, he has, like, this terrible opinion. He always talks about it. Like, how Walt did nothing wrong and he was just key. He cared about his family, guys. He did it for them, even though he literally admits that he did it for himself. Like, your uncle who still says that. I'd sooner listen to that guy. Wait, what? What just activated there? What was that? If I can just get away from this, I keep my less resistance. I fucked up. I'm such a fucking idiot. Can't believe I just did that shit. El Camino didn't add anything to the story. I agree. I, I actually don't have very high opinions of El Camino. I think El Camino would have been better if it spent more time in the present than in the past. I don't get why they made it such a... Uh, I'll take Pelvis Hill. I, I don't know why they made uh, El Camino such a back... Like a backflash experience. When like the shit Jesse was going through then and there was way more interesting to me. Since when are we allowed to have opinions? You're allowed to have opinions. I just am allowed to disagree with them. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, the road to El Camino was hella mid. True, bro. It, the road to El Camino. I like the... They just want Jesse free of his demons. Like, El Camino isn't horribly bad. It just is, like, easily the worst piece of the, the Breaking Bad universe. In an otherwise incredible story experience, pretty much across the board. I think they just wanted to make a Western. Because, like, I mean, technically, I mean, there's a lot of Western aspects to uh, to Breaking Bad as well. But I think that they're just obsessed with Western uh, storytelling 
tropes and wanted to like make like a shootout, you know? With the <laughs> shit. That's like what they wanted when they were going into fucking El Camino. And the shootout felt so out of place too. Shut up, Burb. You suck. Glad Revive has enough iframes to withstand all the hits of the combo. Yeah, <laughs> me too, man. I could have always phantomed, I think, but... Alright, I still have to focus. We're not out of this yet. Burb, more like bitch. Got his ass. Fucking destroyed. Next time, think twice about making your name start with a B. Get Phantom. <laughs> Phantom from across the world. Okay, here comes the, the thing. The rift. Ah! Not good. It's like, this run's still very losable. I have to be very careful. I took the pelvis too when I should have taken the tibia, but I didn't want to see people complaining. If this run loses, I would say it's the tibia difference. Like, with a tibia, this run wins. Although, I do think we're going to win. Like, I don't think this run's going to lose, but, like, if it does lose, it's because I didn't take tibia. Uh, I'm not even going to try and avoid the debris phase, I think. I'm just going to let it happen. Still going to deal damage to him here, but, like, at this stage, uh, I think we'd be safer just going through it. Here it comes, I think, yeah. Are we getting the black hole? Nope. Hey, fuck you! <laughs> you just you got owned, bro. You know you did. But is Lalo a better villain than Gus? No, but Lalo is really cool. I liked Lalo a lot. Like, I don't know. All the the villainous characters in Breaking Bad are very fucking cool. Let's hope Yuga doesn't kill you. Wait, did you win the last one? Oh, uh, I can still lose this. Hang on. I'm scared. Guys, I'm stupid scared. Okay, we're fine. Close, though. Cutting it really fucking close. Or... <clears throat> ah, poo. You like Lalo over Gus ever so slightly? Lalo's a lot more, like, menacing than Gus in an interesting way, even though, like... Like, Gus's rage is, like, quiet, whereas Lalo's rage is fucking loud, you know? Um, but also, GG. Um, very good run. I think the... I don't want to say there's a problem with this run, because there really wasn't. I think most of it's just me being distracted about Breaking Bad talk, but... uh. Also didn't take the, the tibia at the end, so... And also the omen, obviously, making things a little harder. But, like, really just a good run. It probably would have been better if I was, like, say, solo recording and not talking to chat. Uh, I don't think it would have been even slightly as close as this was, but... It is what it is. Okay, good. Yigi didn't kill you. No, you died? Okay, well, at least you're honest about it. From what you said, everyone is villainous? Okay, hang on. I'll continue Breaking Bad talk after I do this outro. But, uh... Hang on, <laughs> let's continue it after when I'm doing like the final goodbyes and shit. But that run was good. 
Uh, Duel is a very powerful enhanced inscription. I didn't mean to take treasure to the end. I don't know what I would have taken instead, though. Like, what I changed my pedestal to. Probably heirloom. So instead of having... We'd have treasure 3 and heirloom 2. I think that would have been better. I was just distracted. It was a good run. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh... Freaking Thor is insanely powerful. People didn't believe me when I said he's an S plus tier skull. I still hold true to that. Um, although I think you can do better with Thor than a run like this, even though he still fucking tore it up. I think uh, his his electrocution buff or debuff, I should say, is an it's so unique and interesting in the way it interacts with not just him but items and other skulls. It's so unique in the like I don't know. He's he's S plus. People don't believe me. But he's S+. Plus. I still hold true to that opinion in my tier list. Um, no, no, we're ending it now before Sly can corrupt your brains. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate y'all. And I will see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.